What's up everybody? This is Spin Fuels Daily Vape TV. My name is Nick and today we're going to be taking a look at the part two of the Bumble Frog review. The flavors we're going to be taking a look at today are going to be Key Lime Pie, Cherry Vanilla, American Pie, Frog Milk, White Chocolate Raspberry Scone, and White Russian. Now I do have the same build as I had on the last review I did uh, in part one. It's a flat bastard build. It meters in at 1.2 ohms. I'm vaping at 20 watts today, uh, 4.89 volts, and I'm using the 722 mod uh, for this review. Uh, without further ado, let's get right into the reviews. So the first juice I'm going to be testing today is Key Lime Pie. Uh, I was able to try this at VCCNE and I really loved it. I have only tried a couple other ones and uh, they're all pretty similar. So the description on this one reads, delicious key lime with graham cracker crust and whipped cream. I'm not too big on dessert vapes myself, but I figured I'd give it a shot and I was pleasantly surprised. I've been vaping this one on and off since I uh, received these flavors. So let's give it a quick test here. And as you can see, the vapor production on this one is really good, uh, definitely up to par with the other ones. Uh, if you've missed my part one review, I'll have a link right here for you. Uh, make sure you check that out. And also, I uh, just want to note that these liquids are 65 VG, 35 PG. Uh, I mentioned that in my first video, but I felt like I should uh, reiterate it here for, your, for uh, you first time viewers. Anyways. Uh, the flavor on this one is really good. Uh, definitely get that sweetness of the key lime and then the like pie crust uh, after kind of aftertaste. It's smooth, it's creamy, it blends well and it leaves a really good uh, uh, taste in your mouth just like you ate a big slice of key lime pie. So pretty good flavor on this one. Uh, I'm actually enjoying it and let's give it another taste. So yeah, you know, for me, dessert vapes aren't really my thing, but I do enjoy this one quite a bit. And for those of you that enjoy a good dessert vape, this one's definitely for you. I'd really recommend check, checking this one out. Uh, as far as my ratings go on it, for the flavor, I'll give it a 4. Uh, it's a great flavor, but can't be an all-day vape for me. The occasional vape, I'll definitely pop it in uh, an atomizer here and there and vape on it a little bit, but definitely not an all-day vape for me. Uh, as far as the vapor, uh, I'll give it a, a 4. Uh, pretty standard, just like the rest of them. Produces a, a decent cloud uh, for a 65 P, uh, VG juice. And for the throat hit, this one's about average, so I'll say a four, I guess. Uh, decent throat hit, not too strong, not too weak. You notice it's there, same kind of thing. So good job on this one. Uh, let's move on to the next one. All right, I'm back. So our next flavor is going to be cherry vanilla, and the description on this one reads, French vanilla custard with a cherry on top. Um, I'm not huge on the combination of cherry and vanilla, personally. Uh, never really got into a cherry vape too much, but definitely willing to try this one out today for you guys. So let's give it a quick taste, and I'll get to my review. So I think, personally, the description actually had it pretty spot on. Uh, definitely get more of the French vanilla rather than the cherry. The cherry just kind of adds a little bit of sweetness and tartness to the end of the like exhale for me. I've never been a big vanilla guy myself personally, but uh, I do like the little bit of sweetness in this one. If anything, I, I might rename it to, you know, something a little different because I definitely get a lot more of the vanilla than the cherry. Um, can't say this one is an all day vape for me, but for anyone that has, uh, you know, craving for vanilla and wants a little bit something extra, try this one out. I definitely recommend it. I'm just going to try another taste here. Uh, as far as my ratings go on it, for the flavor, I'm going to give it a three. Not for me. Can't be an all-day vape, but I think it's got a decent flavor to it. Uh, for the vapor, I'll give it a four. Uh, pretty much like the rest of it. Decent vapor. And for the throat hit, I'll give it a four. It's right on point with the rest of them. So not too bad on this one. Uh, let's get ready for the next one. 
So the next flavor on our list today is American Pie. The description on this one reads, an American favorite, warm apple pie and vanilla bean ice cream. Uh, as you already know, I'm not a big dessert guy, but willing to try this and hopefully it's uh, pretty good. So let's give it a shot. So right off the bat, I definitely get a decent apple pie flavor out of it. Uh, you can taste the apple, you can taste the cinnamon, you actually do get a little bit of the vanilla mixed in with it too, like in, in between like the inhale and the mouthfeel, you definitely get the, a little bit of that vanilla in there, so it's almost like a apple pie a la mode. Um, it's like you're taking a bite of each at the same time. So I, I really like that fact, and uh, it's not a bad flavor at all. Kind of, you know, reminds me of a warm apple pie on Thanksgiving Day or something like that. Uh, let's give it another try here. So I'm actually blown away by the amount of vapor that these juices are producing. Uh, I know I say they're average, but I'm surprised at uh, you know a 65-35 ratio that it is the clouds are this big. So just like the description says, uh, warm apple pie with a, a nice smooth cream like vanilla ice cream, uh, and you get that all at once. It's like a big combination of all the flavors, you know, attacking your taste buds all at the same time, but in a good way. Uh, I'm actually kind of enjoying this one definitely more than I thought I was gonna going to. So let's get to my ratings. Uh, as far as the flavor, I'll give this one a 3.5. Definitely not an all-day vape for me, but the occasional vape, I'll, I'd definitely pop this in the tank at some point. Uh, for the uh, vapor, I'll give this one a 4. Uh, tons of vapor, just like the rest of them. And the throat hit, it's about average, so I'd say 4. Pretty good on this one. All these flavors I'm doing today are kind of ones that I've been on the fence about, but uh, so far, I'm fairly surprised on how much I'm actually enjoying them. So, good job on this one. Let's get to the next one. So, the next flavor on our list today is frog milk. I was uh, a little hesitant to try this one based on the name itself, but, you know, as may, some of you may know, I do like quirky names. Uh, so, the, the flavor description on this one is a sweet and creamy blend with honeydew and a touch of banana. Uh, very curious about this one. Can't wait to try it. So, let's give it a shot. Very surprised in this one. Um, honeydew, you don't get a lot of honeydew, but honeydew itself is kind of like a, a hard flavor to really come through, especially when you have something as powerful as banana. Uh, the banana flavor is really good, and you do get a really good creamy flavor in there as well. I think the blend of all three just make up one amazing flavor. Uh, I really like the banana on this one. It's definitely more of a natural banana, and it doesn't taste like, you know, a runt's candy or anything like that. So. That's uh, definitely positive in my book. Uh, I could honestly see myself vaping this one all day. Um, many of these are definitely not my all-day vapes, but I could say frog milk, for me, I could see myself vaping this one all day long. Um, so yeah, the, the flavor though, uh, it's very dense, rich. I love the creaminess to it. It's almost like you're eating like a big bowl of pudding or something with bananas or whatever. Uh, so overall, very good flavor on this one. Uh, let's just give it one more taste here. Yeah, so I'm rather enjoying this one. Uh, as far as the flavor goes, I'm going to give this one a 4.5. Really great flavor. Definitely an all-day vape. Uh, as far as the vapor, 4. Throat hit, 4. Pretty much standard for the whole line. Uh, and overall, very shocked uh, at this one, of how good it is. Definitely recommend this one. Go out and try this uh, because it's really good. Alright, so let's get to our next flavor. Alright, so here we have WCRS or White Chocolate Raspberry Scone. Uh, never been a huge raspberry vape fan. I know, call me picky, uh, but you know, it's, I'm very selective in what juices I like and what I don't like. But again, I definitely want to try this one for the purpose of review. Uh, let's read the flavor description real quick for you. So basically, yeah, exactly what I just said. White chocolate, raspberry scones. Never had one myself, but uh, let's give it a shot. So the first thing I noticed, besides the flavor itself, is uh, the vapor. It seems to have a bit more vapor than the previous ones I've tried. Not sure exactly why that is, but either way, very good. Um, the flavor itself you know, very rich, very dense. I like the sweetness of the raspberries. It's a very, very bright, bright, sweet, sour raspberry flavor. 
and as far as I know it's pretty difficult to you know recreate a sour flavor in e-liquid but I think uh, Bumble Frog really nailed this one as far as white chocolate goes like I said it, that's where you, I think it gets a lot of the creaminess to it uh, definitely tastes a good amount of white chocolate in there as far as the scone flavor in there it's kind of like you know just your generic bakery flavor almost like uh, you know uh, an, a pie crust kind of flavor um, very good I am enjoying this one again not an all-day vape for me but the occasional vape I could see myself popping this one in, in the tank every now and then really like the mouthfeel too you know you get a lot of that in your mouth flavor uh, so as far as the flavor goes I'm gonna give this one a four it's actually a really good flavor um, for the vapor 4.5 uh, again I, I am noticing a tiny bit more vapor in this one uh, the throat hit I'd say about a four uh, pretty average same as the rest of them uh, so yeah I'm, I'm really liking this one and it was a little shocked so good job let's get to our final flavor alright so I've been dying to tell you guys about this one our last flavor today is gonna be white Russian uh, the description on this one is the dude's favorite Kahlua cream and vodka uh, I'm a huge Big Lebowski fan myself and you know I do occasionally like the adult beverage and if you're a fan of uh, white Russians definitely gonna like this one uh, it's really rich and really creamy but uh, let's get to that in a second let's have a vape so the clouds are very dense on this one I like that a lot uh, as far as the vapor though you know just the average amount just like the other ones but I feel like it is a bit more dense uh, for the flavor though, flavor is unbelievable. Uh, definitely get a heavy chocolate in there, uh, really rich cream, and you do get a little bit of that alcohol bite, which I like. Uh, if you, a flavor is advertised as like an alcohol flavor, I feel like it should have some sort of just a little bit of bite in there, and I definitely get that, and that's pretty much after the exhale. It's like way late in the, the vape. Um, I feel like if it came any earlier, it would kind of ruin the whole experience for me, but it definitely adds a little bit of, uh, towards the end uh, to almost enhance the throat hit in a way. It's very subtle but noticeable. Uh, the flavor though, really good. Uh, I like the rich chocolatey creaminess to this, and it's just like the you know popular drink. The Kahlua flavor is spot on. Uh, the creaminess is really good, so it's pretty much like you know a stiff drink. Let's have another vape. The dude definitely abides. Uh, this flavor, can't say it's an all-day vape for me, but if you're, you know, sitting at the bar or something like that, you want to impress your friends, tell them to try this stuff because it's really good. It's kick-ass. Uh, as far as my ratings go for the flavor, I'll give this one a 4.5. Not an all-day vape, but definitely high on the occasional vape list for me. As far as the vapor, I'll give it a 4. Uh, it's, you know, definitely denser, I feel like. it's. It, could just be my imagination, but I feel like it's a little bit denser than the other ones. And for the throat hit, I'm going to give it a 4. Uh, I like the little bit of bite at the end. It kind of enhances the throat hit for me, but it doesn't make it anywhere near overpowering. So really good job on this one. Uh, really glad they sent this one along. Uh, so I hope you like the review. Don't forget to like, favorite, and subscribe. And as always, vape on.